Dance is a universal language, a form of language that transcends nationalities, cultures, religions, and races. As humans, we communicate our thoughts, feelings, and desires that are independent of the identity and culture through dance. That said, there are folk dances that reflect national or even regional identities. Think Japan's kabuki dance, Ireland's Irish step dance, in Ukraine, Cossack dance. Nigeria's Yoruba. Turkey has a rich tradition of regional folk dancing with dances performed on all social occasions. Here are a few examples. In Aegean region, Zeybek. Bursa area has Klitsch Kalkan. Black Sea regions, Boron. Artvin regions, Atabaru. There are dances that become global, assume universal identities, and provide bridges connecting people from different parts of the world. Think ballet. Think rock and roll. Think tango. Today, there are thousands of global tango networks and groups with millions of followers across continents. Hundreds of international tango festivals drawing tens of thousands of participants from around the world. Just check out the internet, comb through social media pages for Milonga Tango Groups. Then, you'll see what I mean. Tango fever sweeps China. Tango fever in Italy. Tango in UK. Tango in Russia. Ireland's tango fever. Tango in the Middle East. Turkey is no exception. There are hundreds, if not thousands of milonga tango groups feverishly pursuing the dance. Let's check out one of many tango festivals held in Chiron Palace, bringing thousands of participants to Istanbul every year. I was not surprised when I saw Turkey's major international hubs, such as Istanbul and Izmir, on the list of active global tango centers. However, I have to admit, I was surprised when I discovered my city, Fethiye's, dedicated vibrant tango groups. We are talking about a small city of about 150,000 population. There are several weekly tango lessons and practices, gatherings in Fethiye, all based on tango, every single week. Every Tuesday evenings, intimate groups of tango lovers gather in a magnificently restored ancient stone stable called Tashmekan, the stone place. Functioning as a restaurant and bar all week, the historic, romantic, and softly moodlit place 
warmed only by a cozy fireplace, sets aside every Tuesday evening for milonga tango lessons and practice. Being an admirer of tango music and dance, I had to include this tango a la fête session within this gorgeous historic background. Can you blame me? I'm not sure how much of the mood is transmitting to you, but I am bewitched. The decor and lighting, the scent and warmth of the fireplace, the music, and of course the utterly romantic dance. I'm simply bewitched. Although tempted, I'm not going to dance tonight. No, it is so tempting, but I'm rusty. It's been years since my last tango. Okay, well, here's me years and years ago, long time ago. And no, this evening, I'm here to watch, to listen, and to enjoy a glass or maybe two glasses of red wine and talk with one of the tango instructors here. Maybe, only maybe, he will motivate me to take it up again and join in the fever, tango fever. Tango uh, is not only Argentinian, uh, I think, in my opinion. Uh, tango is tango belongs to all over the world. For example, uh, the violin, the, is one of the instruments of tango uh, orchestras, is from Italy. Bandoneon is from Germany. Uh, the rhythm sensation comes from Africa. People say so. It's not only Argentina. All over the world, uh, it's a uh, all world uh, dance. I think. Maybe this is why the fever, when people talk about Argentinian tango fever, is totally universal. Yes. It's something about Argentinian tango where you feel it here. You know, exactly. it, it, it feels here. How did you get into it? Uh, it was 20 years ago, I think. Uh, accidentally, I start. <laughs> uh, what I was the accident? Plan. Is there a story? I didn't plan uh, to get in the tango classes uh, two of my uh, friends they saw first and they just want to get me in uh, and they forced me they pushed me uh, for going there and after first sight uh, maybe I saw uh, I watched uh, 10 minutes and then I was on the dancing floor and uh, 20 years spent <laughs> Still dancing. <laughs> it gets into the blood, doesn't it? Yes. Something about it gets into the blood. Before this, uh, I didn't know I can dance. I didn't know I can teach. I just realized after I start, I can dance. And after I start teaching, I realized that I can teach also. So just the fact that, you know, most people would expect this to be metropolitan. In Istanbul, okay, New York City, Okay, Washington DC, yes. Shanghai. Exactly. Beijing. But here in Fethiye, <laughs> and the fever has spread even to these little Aegean towns of Fethiye. And before the camera started rolling, you were telling me that you've been traveling to all these countries yes. to teach. Yes. Uh, I have friends uh, from China, some, some of them. How did uh, you make these friends in uh, China? Funny story, we met in Torino, Italy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you got to know Chinese people who became your friends, but you ended up meeting these Chinese people who are into tango in Italy. Yes. See, exactly. this is what I'm talking exactly. about. Uh -huh. This is exactly what I'm talking about when I say bridging the gaps. Mm -hmm. There it is. Listen up. 
and you met there, and that's yes. how uh, we start dancing together. She, she uh, with her, and uh, after a while, uh, she came to visit us. She saw our teaching style. She has a she had a school also uh, in Shanghai, mm -hmm. and several times, uh, I think seven times, we travel to Shanghai for teaching. It's a long way. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Do you believe this whole technology age, internet, mm -hmm. made this even more possible for people to connect? People in Tango Group, with Crew, Facebook. I mean, how were we able to connect through Tango with people in China before the internet? I think, this is my opinion, uh, the uh, internet a uh, era uh, making distance between the people. So, uh, we are uh, hugging each other here, as you see. We are touching each other. Uh, we are communicating each other in a special way, in a special language. We call this tango. Uh, so, uh, I think peop people are hungry about this kind of connection because of social media, because uh, everyone uh, talking with phones or texting each other or uh, no connection. I'm talking about the personal uh, needs. As a person, sure. I need to touch, I need to hug, I need to uh, be uh, real connection. Have you noticed any difference between cultures like, okay, Argentinians, they're like us, Turks, hot-blooded because the music also has gypsy element into it. Turks, you know, we are looking at South American dances, hot-blooded, hot climate. Have you seen any difference between, let's say, the tango fever, the passion for it in Northern European countries versus? Of course, uh, the people have their own uh, character. Not the same. For example, uh, Italians, different character. Greeks, different character. Turks, different. Northern uh, Europe, totally different. But uh, somehow, uh, everybody can dance tango. Everybody can feel this. Can they find that passion yes. in yes. Iceland? Of course, of course. Really? In Denmark, with the cold weather? Yes. They still can't find that passion. One question, you kept naming the countries, Russia, Ukraine, China. Have you heard of any, let's say, tango movement in a place like Iran or Lebanon? Yes, I heard. In Iran? In, in Iran, I heard. In Lebanon, uh, there's the Beirut tango uh, meeting. Yearly. Not surprising, but all their past. It used to be the Chanzelis. The Paris of Middle East used to be Lebanon, Beirut. Yes. yes. And in Iran as well? Mm -hmm. Maybe they're a uh, little bit more difficult. <laughs> Underground tango. Yes. Underground tango, but it exists. Yes. And uh, it's already in the tango history. Some uh, times in the past, uh, they made in Argentina underground tango. This is tango. Always finds a way. <laughs> Isn't it? Isn't it? As you can see, tango has connected people in Turkey not only to those in Argentina, but to people in China, Ukraine, Italy, Lebanon, USA, countries all around the world. While agenda politics and mass media breed divisiveness and contempt between nations, cultures, ethnicities, and races, dances such as tango form love and cohesion between us. This is what I mean when I say food, music, dance, fostering love and connectivity, bridging the illusionary gaps, bridging the gap with tango.